Math is super whack, man. Like, zero is a part of the whole numbers, but not a part of the natural numbers? Is zero an artificial number then? Hey guys, I just made zero. Ha! Zero! Just like your life! What? A failure! <laughs> like bro, how the hell did my guy Tony buy 600 watermelons and why do I have to find out how much water is in those watermelons? Who is selling these many watermelons to a single person? Or are they? What if they are transporting drugs from inside those watermelons? You're goddamn right. Bro, an algebra, right? Oh my god, algebra! Who had the brilliant idea of adding letters to math? Math is all about numbers, not letters. This guy! Al... Al... Quarzi... Al... Quarzi... Al... Quarzi... <laughs> this guy is the source of all my suffering. I am going to cancel him on Twitter right now. <laughs> Here's an example of a question involving algebra. If a man is four times as old as his son, and the son's daughter is eight times younger as the son's father, calculate the mass of a black hole. Oh, and don't even get me started on geometry. Like, what the hell is this? What is even going on here? Is this even math anymore? Calculate the area of these nerds? What? Calculate the radius of the unit? How am I even supposed to do that? And what the hell are axioms, bro? Like, anything we cannot prove is made into an axiom. You know what? I'm making my own axiom! The eat shit axiom. This axiom states that if you can't solve a question, just make up some bullshit axiom to solve it. Let me demonstrate it for you. If ABC is a triangle and PQRS is a square, prove that triangle ABC actually has four sides and is not a triangle but a square. Using the eat shit axiom, I am going to make a new axiom called the triangle ABC axiom. This axiom states that any triangle named ABC actually has a fourth invisible side named D. Therefore, any triangle named ABC is actually a square named ABCD. Therefore, the triangle named ABC in the given question is a square. <laughs> <laughs>